The GOP race is heating up. Mitt Romney and Ron Paul, the last men standing. Although Romney is the presumptive GOP nominee, today, Congressman Ron Paul vowed he's not giving up. Fox 7's Camille Williams joins us live from the Capitol with more. And Camille, you are at the rally today. Jenny, you know, the National Tea Party uh, Express sponsored this afternoon's event. They say a couple thousand Ron Paul supporters showed up today. And unlike his opponent, Mitt Romney, Ron Paul hasn't won any primaries or caucuses, but in the end, it all comes down to the delegates uh, to win this GOP nomination, which, of course, today, Ron Paul hopes ahead of the Texas primary, he was able to grab a few more of those. My father, Ron Paul. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul introduced his father, Texas Congressman Ron Paul, on Sunday afternoon at the state capitol. Thank you. But you know there's a still ongoing presidential race in this country? There's been uh, many times that we've been written off, but uh, on occasion now, almost like every day, there is another, there is another uh, state that goes our way. <laughs> It may turn out that we will be the actual winners of Iowa. <laughs> the National Tea Party Express sponsored today's rally. It comes after Paul grabbed the majority of delegates in Maine and Nevada this weekend. Sal Russo is one of today's organizers. The purpose of, of, of this tour is to get people who are concerned about the increasing size, cost, and intrusiveness of the federal government with the unsustainable, skyrocketing national debt. Russo also says this rally is to inform people about other candidates who they say can make a change in Washington, like Ted Cruz, a Republican running to replace retiring U.S. Senator Kay Bailey Hutchinson. But by looking at the crowd... It's clear most people were here to see libertarian-leaning Congressman Ron Paul. This is the first one. Andrew Summers drove in from Houston to see the presidential hopeful. He has a backbone, and he's been consistent the whole time he's been a politician. He's not a party-line candidate. He's someone who's going to stand for his beliefs. Paul made a series of promises in his speech, spending most of his time talking about policy change. This uh, foreign policy that has been around for many, many years, uh, non-intervention's foreign policy provides a stronger national defense. You only go to war when the Congress declares the war and not at the whims of the president. And trimming the national debt. I believe and I'm convinced by free market economics that wealth comes from work and savings. So my suggestion in our first year will be to cut the budget in real terms by $1 trillion. Paul might not be the front runner in the race, but he says he has the heart to keep fighting until the end. The revolution is working. We have infiltrated the Republican Party, and we will convert the Republican Party to the defenders of liberty. In the last we checked, and this is all according to the Associated Press, Ron Paul has 93 delegates that are headed to the National Republican Convention. His opponent, presumptive GOP nominee Mitt Romney, has 859 delegates. So all eyes will be on the Texas primary on May 29th, where Romney could clinch all the delegates he needs to win this nomination. Jenny, back to you. All right, Camille. Thank you very much.